welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking about something that means so much to us, Disney cruises. And specifically, I'm gonna be talking about fish extenders. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I needed to go to Michael's because I needed to get some clear plastic bags. And today I'm gonna to share with you why I needed to get some clear plastic bags. So we are embarking on an amazing adventure on the wonderful Disney dream. And we're so excited. And one of our most favorite activities, well, everything's a favorite when it comes to Disney Cruise Line. I love it all. I can't categorize anything. But something that we love doing while we're on the boats is participating in a fish extender exchange. Outside of the stateroom doors, there are these little hooks where they'll put little messages or if they need to give you a letter or you have tickets for a meet and greet or something coming up, they'll put them on that little hook but you're also able to hang what they call fish extenders and you can go on Etsy shops, you can make them yourself. We actually made our own. I made this on our very first Disney cruise, so it's a little rough looking at this point, but we still love it and it serves its job and purpose and I just don't have the time to be making another fish extender. It says the limbs and then you have pockets here where you can put, where um, the other members of your fish extender group can put gifts and it says mom and dad on this one, and this one says Aaliyah, and then there's another one down here that says Selena. We made this when Aaliyah wasn't even born, so at one of our second cruises, I believe it was our second cruise, I had to add in this pocket on the back. So this is our fish extender, but you hang it on the hook outside the door, and um, you join a fish extender group, and people will come and give you gifts throughout the cruise. Basically what you do is after you book your cruise, you can go to Facebook and type in the search like Disney Dream and the date that you're sailing, the dates of the cruise. So if you're sailing in May, you'll put like Disney Dream May 1st through the 5th, right? And most of the time, every I haven't had an issue yet where nothing comes up, but pretty much every time I find a group that someone on the boat who's gonna be sailing has created and they manage the group and you can register through your fish extend for the fish extender activity through the group. There can be anywhere from like a hundred to like a few hundred people who are members of these Facebook groups to your specific cruise because it's a fun way to get to know people before you go on, if you have questions, and also just to be excited together that our cruise is coming up, this is so fun. They will typically have like a Google document um, questionnaire where you fill out the information and then once the groups start filling up and accumulating, they will send you your um, spreadsheet with your cabins um, and the group that you're in. I haven't seen anybody have more than 10 staterooms per group. The staterooms could have as little as one person or it could have five people. So you have to keep in mind that you could have a complete full group of 10 staterooms and 10 times five is up to 50 people that you could be having to get gifts for. So we are extremely lucky with this cruise. This is our smallest fish extender group ever. We only have to get gifts for 23 people, which is super awesome. And there's really no budget typically on fish extenders. It's, it's whatever you feel comfortable doing, um, however you wanna do it. But typically what I've come across is that people will get one gift per stateroom and, or one gift per person per stateroom and you go and deliver it to that stateroom throughout the length of your cruise. It can be whatever day, whatever time of the day you want, and it's just a fun little surprise that adds just a little extra bit of, as they say, pixie dust to your trip. 
first I'm gonna share with you some of the things that we've received on previous cruises of ours through these fish extender gift exchange groups. One of the things that we received in, this was a cruise we went on in 2017. This is, I love this thing. I have this hanging in my laundry room and we'll hang our keys on it when we remember to hang our keys on it. But I just love it. This is something we got on our last cruise in 2018, I believe it was. This is what a family gave us. See, this is something on the really relatively cheap. They took, um, they probably had like a cricket thing and they cut out um, a sand castle with our initials in it and Mickey heads. There's one for Ray and then the two girls and me. And um, then they laminated it and they put magnets on it so we can like put it on our fridge. And I love this. I just think it's so cute. And this just goes to show that it doesn't have to be something super expensive. It can be something that costs you like a dollar per <laughs> stateroom. And yeah, another thing that we got one year was this stainless steel thermos and they, you know, put little decals on it. One year, someone gave each of the girls little tiny beach bags and inside was a bunch of little toys for the beach and that was super cute. Here's something that someone gave us, let the cruise begin, little can, what do you call these? I don't even know what these are called. So one for Ray and I, this, this is a, those little Tsum Tsums and this is a little, um, bag that opens up and folds so you can have you need like a, a tote at any point so that's kind of cute right and we've also gotten little Tsum Tsums these people I believe were from New York so you have a little Minnie Mouse Tsum Tsum like uh, the Statue of Liberty and then you have a little Mickey Mouse Tsum Tsum that says I love New York I love this I thought this was so cute and really make Tsum Tsums anymore, which is such a bummer. One time someone gave us, this was in our trip in 2018, just, you know, they got just these little wood things that you can get from like Michaels and they painted it to be like an ornament. How cute is that? Also one year we got a popcorn bucket that was filled with like a big bag of popcorn and candy. Um, we also got one time a big gift, like a, a gift bag filled with sprinkles and spoons and little cups and uh, Oreo cookies and a bottle of chocolate sauce so you could go to the ice cream machine on the boat. So that was fun. Other times the girls have gotten just cute little knickknacks and coloring books and markers and um, little things like that. So those are some of the things that people will gift in these fish extender groups. This year for our fish extenders, I wanted, I didn't want to have to go get a bunch of supplies to make stuff, which I've done in the past. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I didn't really have too much money that I could be spending. So I wanted to keep it relatively low. And I had found on Amazon some really cool rings so this is what I created for the people in our fish extender group and everybody's gonna get one. Inside we have a few gold coins. They're actually orange. If you look at it with like one eye closed, it kind of looks like it's gold. So, and then inside I have a couple of these rubber rings. Here's one with the, um, the skull and the crossbones and he has a bandana on. And whoop, let's try to move around. Another one is this one with the skull and the two swords. Another one is the skull, the crossbones, and a captain's hat. The last one is a pirate flag, and it's like that. So I bought enough so everybody gets two rings, and there is also an eye patch inside, um, and just like this little Mickey little cut out with a handwritten note on it that says, yo ho, yo ho, ahoy pirates, enjoy your treasures, the limbs. So that's it, it's super cute and I think they're nice and I feel like everybody's gonna love this. It doesn't hurt to just have a couple extra things to make pirate night even more special than it already is. There are two really little kids in our group. I had went to Michael's to try to find some kind of little activity 
book and sticker kit for them and I couldn't find it and I was like no so I looked around and around and around and then I went on the sticker aisle and I saw these sticker books and I was like oh my gosh it's meant to be come on little kids love stickers so I just think these are super cute and they're all piratey to go with the pirate theme so yeah it's been a while since we've had a good vacation and I'm just ready to just oh, relax and be pampered and not have to worry about dishes or cleaning or vacuuming or making the bed or doing laundry or making food. I'm, I'm so ready to, for that, to enjoy it for a whole week. So yes, it's gonna be so exciting. But um, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about fish extenders or Disney cruises or anything like that, or you have any video suggestions, please let me know. Um, yeah, so have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.